Thank you, Claude. We're all recording in a world where nobody wants to be recorded and everything. Right. We were talking right. about what is the one thing we look, you guys all know who Bernie Madoff is, right? Yes. Okay. Yes. I love Bernie Madoff because there's such a phenomenal lesson of success and freedom to learn from this horrible man. He hurt a lot of people. A lot of people have committed suicide and stuff. He stole, wow. he stole billions of dollars of money wow. and, from people. Um, and uh, over 20 years, they gave him money. And um, Chris was asking me the question, how do I get somebody to lend me money uh, if I'm going to do some deals? Because he, Chris is Chris is good at finding too many deals, and he wants other people's money. <laughs> okay, OPM. So it reduces right. his. He still finds the deal. He still makes the big bucks, but he's risking other people's money rather than his own. Oh, and that's that's smart investing. That's in, genius. In my opinion. Yeah, yeah, that's genius. And, and the question I think, Chris, what was the question you asked me? How do you get people to do that? To give a, a total stranger. 50, 100,000, a quarter million or more. How do you get, how do people do that? How did Bernie Madoff get people to give him millions and millions of dollars over 20 years? You gotta, it's, it's gotta be asked. It, 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 and what I, I'm curious about, uh, at that time have the social proof? What, oh, was, yeah, he, what was he, was he already, was he? Okay, this, oh, is my persuasion. this is my favorite whiteboard. I, I took it persuasion. down for Chris consistency, commitment, social proof, authority, liking and trust, yeah. scarcity. Oh, yeah. All that. It's right here. I have these all over my office, but you can buy these portable boards and just stick them on the wall or whatever. And the thing about it is he was, he was able to basically take, um, he was able to, he was using scarcity. Mm. Okay. He said, Hey, I only take a limited number of clientele. Um, I've only got a certain amount of products I can sell you. Um, I'm very busy. I work with a lot of really smart people who are making amazing amounts of money. Okay, so if this is not what you're looking for, don't worry about it. We don't have to waste a lot of time. Don't even come to my office if you're not prepared to. Uh, and I only start people off at $100,000 minimum. So if that's not, a, you know, I won't, t I know a lot of people want to invest a quarter million to a $5 million, but if, I, I just have a principle here. I only start people off with a hundred thousand. Okay. Yeah. okay. Yeah. What, yeah. what happens when you use scarcity, uh, social proof, other investors, I only have a scarcity. I only have a limited product authority. Okay. I know what I'm doing. I'm, I have uh, these degrees. I've been in business for this long time. Um, how do you get them to like and trust you? You do that stroking and nurturing. We always talk about reciprocity okay listen i'm gonna make an exception i'm gonna do this for you but you have to do this for me i need this contract by 4 30. i need a draft a check a money transfer by uh, no later than 10 o'clock tomorrow morning otherwise this is over and please don't ever bother me again yeah what and and, and he could do it in such a way where very short conversations and people would just throw money at him have you ever seen the movie with richard dreyfus on Bernie Madoff, it's on, I think it's on Netflix or Hulu or something. It's, it's worth seeing, or read some of the books about this guy. Even though he was evil, he was a criminal. He's in jail right now. I, maybe, I might be in the Colorado oh. federal, federal jail, I'm not sure. I thought he got out. Oh no. Wow. Oh no, mm -hmm. he's gonna die in prison. Wow. Yeah. But, oh, but, he'll, but, ne he'll but, never get out. But they don't, they don't talk about, let me ask you this. Do, do you think people actually, there were some individuals who actually made money like with him and that like. Very good question. Excellent. Why? The first ones. The, pe the, first the, people, one. the, the first ones in the beginning. Same thing with network marketing. Yes. Same mm -hmm. thing with uh, the dot-com boom. Chris and I were talking about that. Always the guys in the mid, in the beginning, they're usually friends and family or shills, mm -hmm. straw men, yeah. ph phonies, you know? Mm. They, they give it to their kids or set up phony corporations and trusts and things like that. They make their own money. Why? Mm. Why? Mm. It, but, but, what, does, that, does that actually fuel like the uh, social proof? Doesn't that begin like the foundation where everybody's like, this is the new trend. We want to be a part of it. You know, let us in type of thing. Because as you already said, the scarcity actually is the persuasion, you know, the yeah. influence. Yeah. And what we're talking about applies to raising money, doing real estate, anything. 
if you go to somebody and you act like a, see salespeople to me sound like beggars. They're desperate. Mm-hmm. Oh, you gotta, you know, you gotta get this. Oh, this is great. And they give you that intellectual corny presentation. Okay, that, that, that typical in, uh, facts and figures and, and features and things like that. Okay, the gut salesman will make it very emotional and hit the one big button, mm. especially if you're looking for investors. And I know, Amir, you're always looking for investors. Yeah. What's the number one emotion? Chris, you know the answer, so don't yell it out. Greed. Greed, baby. How do you hit that? Is greed is good if, if you have an honest investment, a good return, which I know you have, Amir, your people make money, right? Mm-hmm. Is there anything to feel? And, is, and you're allowed to make money too because you did the work, the running around, you had the guts. I, I don't hide it. Last, last week I made like $5,000 commission and the investor got like $4,000 and he was surprised that, he get, that I made $5,000 and it was like two days after I talked to him, I closed the deal. And I asked him, do you prefer me, for me to give you a, good, a, a deal that will be less good and I will get less that will make you feel better? If I give you a less, uh, less good deal, of course, he said, no, no, give me the best deal you can. Mm. I will love to pay you as much as you deserve. Okay, so go back to what Nehemiah Harvard said here. He said, do the first people make money? So if you have a guy the first time and he makes money over what period of time, Amir? What, again, what the question? Uh, the, the, the investment, you, you made $5,000. Over what period of time did you contact this man to where he made 4000 Two hours. Two hours. Uh, two days, I spent two hours. Okay, you, well, you had to find the deal first and put it together and everything else, right? It was his house, I just found him, the, the buyer. Okay, so this oh. guy, this guy made $4,000 4, on his investment up front. Okay, yeah. what's, what, what do you think, what's his, what does he think about you now? What's the empathy? What do you think is, what's going on in his head about you? You're a mensch. You're, when can I do the next one? He loves you. Like he a building. Like two a, hours says, yeah. Are you an authority? Like are you the I, man? I'm the go-to, go-to guy. I'm authority, yeah. You're the authority. Does he like you? He loves you. Does he trust yeah. you implicitly? Because yeah. you paid him back. You did everything you said. What's the next thing you can do? How much money did he invest with you? This is this is a house he bought from a, a shitty house he bought from a marketing guy. Uh, but uh, instead of have a shitty house in a shitty area, now we have a land contract that give him like 12, 14% net. That's good money for him. Okay, so if you so needed him to invest, so if you found a, 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 a say you found a property, and you, will, need it, and, you needed 50, and you needed fifty and you needed fifty thousand to, dollars to buy it to fix it up. He will put the money. Go ahead. Sell, I want you to sell uh, I want you to sell Nehemiah. I want, you need fifty thousand dollars to uh, to pitch this deal. I want you to use all the different things we talked about: scarcity, authority. I want I want you to make them like like you and trust you, but you've also got to act like you don't like you got 20 other people ready to throw money at you. You've got to create the okay. environment. Go ahead. Okay. Hey, Neil, how are you doing? Hey, hey, good, good. A little busy. Hey, how can I help you? Just wanted to make sure and to check if you already spent all the money you made on the last deal. Oh, man, I'm still counting it up. I'm still <laughs> counting it up. Okay, I have good news for you. <laughs> good news? Hit, hit me with it. I got another good deal. Uh, you can make easy $8,000. We can do it together in, in, in let's say, in six months. Uh, I take eight, you take eight. Uh, you're the first one I call in because, you know, we, we just had our, this deal together and I really like you. Uh, I, I want to give you the option to be the first one uh, to join this deal. What do you say? Are you uh, ready to do another 8,000 uh, in six months? Uh, oh, man, six months? Is, 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 is it, uh, how, how tight is it? Like, like, give me some more information about it. Well, I, I oh. need a decision today. I, I, I can get the money till the end of this week. But I need a decision today. I need commitment today. Uh, and I need you to put at least $1,000 just so I can fix all the paperwork. 
Blend in a li- off the role play. Blend in a little nurturing here. Listen, I, I, I'm not trying to corner you or intimidate you or pressure you. It's, uh, it, listen, we did a great deal last time. It's, uh, it's okay. You made good money. If you want to say no, God bless you. I've got 20 other people to call. But I yeah. thought of you and I thought maybe – 